Have you been told that you need mitral valve surgery? And are you confused about what is the best option for you? Should you have a mitral valve repair? Should you have a replacement? If you're gonna have a replacement, should it be a tissue valve, pigs or cows, or a mechanical valve with a long-term need for blood thinners like warfarin? Well, if this is you and you need to know the answer to these questions, this short video will help you immeasurably, I'm certain. Now let's just get to the first bit here. Repair or replacement is a very simple scenario of decision making. If you've got heavy calcification on your mitral valve and your valve is either stenosed, it doesn't open properly, or it's stuck in position where it both is stenosed and leaks, then the simple and best thing for you is to remove that heart valve and replace that heart valve. And there are two main options, a tissue valve made of pigs or cows or a mechanical valve. Now, the tissue valve is good in one respect in that you won't need a blood thinner like warfarin going forward, unless of course you need a blood thinner for a, another reason, like for example, you have uh, associated atrial fibrillation with your mitral valve problem. The drawback of the tissue valve is it can wear and tear. And unlike in the aortic valve position, in the mitral valve position, tissue valves tend to wear and tear a lot quicker. The general rule of thumb is this. If you are under the age of 70, then you will receive life enhancing benefit from receiving a mechanical valve rather than a tissue valve. If you are over the age of 70, then a tissue valve will offer you both a better option in terms of avoiding warfarin and also by avoiding warfarin, you will be able to reduce the risks of that treatment long term. So in that situation, over the age of 70, tissue valves are better for you. Now, under the age of 50 in the mitral valve position, it is really not a good idea because the problem with that is that you will almost certainly require repeated treatments going forward and each of those treatments will have its own inherent risk. So the best option in that situation is a mechanical valve and the mechanical valve uh, will last forever. It will click, but very few patients ever really notice that. The most important issue is that you will need warfarin. Warfarin is a tablet. You take it every day. You need a regular blood test when you first start daily, then weekly, then once a month and every uh, two or three months to ensure that we don't over thin the blood or under thin the blood. And of course, the complications associated with warfarin are bleeding complications. And when you're young, these complications are not much of a problem. When you're older, they can be serious problems. And this is why, as you get older, over the age of 70, we want to try and avoid giving you warfarin. Now, one important thing about warfarin that you also need to know about, and that is if you're a young lady and you wish to start a family, warfarin can damage the baby in the first three months of pregnancy. So in this situation, we would prefer not to use a mechanical valve unless it is clear that you understand that you can't get pregnant on warfarin. And also it is clear that when you do wish to get pregnant, we will need to treat you with blood thinner, scratches, injections in the skin until that period of time of your pregnancy is completed safely. So in summary, if you've got a leaking heart valve with little or no calcium on it, then mitral valve repair is the best option. If you have a calcified valve, we best remove that valve and replace it with either a tissue or a mechanical valve. If you're over the age of 70, a tissue valve is the best option for you. Under the age of 70, you're better off with a mechanical valve because the evidence suggests that you will live longer with that decision. Mechanical valves do have a drawback, blood thinners. Now, all of these treatments, whether you have a tissue valve or a mechanical valve or a mitral valve repair, they can all be performed through a minimally invasive incision, a keyhole incision performed between the ribs on the right hand side. One other advantage of keyhole heart surgery, other than the simple ones like small scars, less pain, less bleeding, less serious infection, is that we preserve the breastbone so that if you're young and you really are adamant that you do not want uh, your mitral valve replaced with a mechanical valve because you want to avoid warfarin, well then having it done through the keyhole effectively means that we reduce the risks of any ongoing repeat surgery that you may require because we have preserved the breastbone for later life. So just a consideration for you to think about. If you need to know anything more about these topics, please do feel free to search the website. It's all there for you. Or if you want to know more, contact us through the website using the web form or give us a call and our team would be happy to help you. Bye for now.